but God has no beginning, so he existed from nothing. But if God has no beginning, that doesn't make sense to me. He can't have existed from nothing, and he's always existed, he's always existed. Um, I'm not quite sure what lies behind that, but the, there could be a number of things. Let me try and explore a couple of them. Um, life does not come, I believe, from non-life. It requires an information and input. And the exciting thing about that is we have lived to experience the information age. Darwin had no idea of this stuff. He had no idea of DNA and its code and all this kind of thing. And the supreme irony here is this. That life we now know involves something non-material, and that is information. Now, this is a huge debate at the moment. Uh, the carriers of information are usually material, as you see in that advert from the City Bible Forum up there. They're material, but the information itself is non material. So here's the supreme irony that materialism appears to disappear. This is what Thomas Nagel is pointing out, because we now have the category of information. So some scientists are actually rather neatly say it's not bit from it it's it from bit because the information is primary but the second thing about god and here i'm just trying to go around this question because i don't quite understand that god existing from nothing the usual question that's at the heart of richard dawkins book on this is look if you claim that god created the universe then something will have to create it him and so on who created god well, I'm surprised, to be honest, to find that in his book is such a, an important piece, because if you say who or what created God, that's abstract one level, who or what created X, you're assuming X was created. You're, it's what many philosophers call a complex question, it hides an assumption. Who created X assumes X was created, so if God was not created, the question who created God doesn't apply to it. And the irony in that was, Richard Dawkins and I had a debate about this on one occasion. And I said, look, you're bypassing the question of, of God. The, the, the God of the Bible wasn't created, so your question doesn't apply. But I said, you believe the universe created you. So let me ask you your question. Who created your creator? And I've waited a long time for an answer to that. <laughs> So, <laughs> on to that, that's more 